What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders brought to you today by the Russell Street Report sponsored by DNL Tinting for all of your tinting, car detailing, headlight restoration needs. Check out dltinting.com located in White Marsh and Parkville. Be sure to check them out, link down below. And also brought to you by Royal Farms. We have a special word at the end of this video brought to you by the goat himself, Justin Tucker. And today we are going to be talking about the breakout man himself. It is Keaton Mitchell talking about some of the special things he did on film for the Ravens yesterday. Before we get into it, he had 138 yards and a touchdown on the ground on just nine carries uh, on just 10 rushing snaps. Uh, I think he had 15 total snaps. Uh, the impressive thing here, though, and what I think you guys need to know, he had eight missed tackles forced. Eight on nine carries. Absolutely absurd. He averaged 132 yards after contact, 14.6 yards after contact per attempt. Uh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Five first downs. Uh, was just a machine. And so we're going to take a look at some of the best and brightest plays and really show you how exactly he got it done. You know that's how we do it. If you guys are looking forward to this, if you're looking forward to another week of breaking down a dominant performance, hit that like button and subscribe. All right, let's get into it. We're going to start here. Um, one thing I want to note to you guys, because we're going to see a nice vary um, of the personnel chosen on some of these runs. So obviously here, we just have the five-man line uh, with the running back and quarterback in the box. It's against the six-man box. They're in spread right now. The tight end split out there, I think in a three-by-one right now. Um, this is exactly what I want to see more of and see them run out of this. So let's see how we get it done here. You're going to see a nice little draw action, which I think is the type of play that's going to work really well with a guy like Mitchell, um, the guy that makes the play here. It's going to be Linderbaum gives up a little bit of ground here, and Mitchell has to course correct, but the exchange here uh, is like they're taking pass steps, right, because they're trying to fake it, and then Kevin Zeitler is the release man. So Linderbaum has to take over the leverage of the inside to be able to space that out. So you see him overcome that, and you can see him work his leverage out to his right and that at least seals it so mitchell has to take that step there and then cut up zeitler gets out there and he you want to see him set inside just like he does you see that shoulder work up and right here is where i want to focus with mitchell so i want you guys to see him take the cut right right when he gets to mitchell or to zeitler and right there and so this is the type of stuff that really impressed me with mitchell's game is rather than just you know full speed force ahead he tries to work into that empty vacant space um, the vision and then running through contact right there uh, he ends up gaining an extra five yards at contact so he's going to get hit right here and he's just going to work through it and keep moving actually it's almost like eight nine yards uh, i didn't even cut to the end of the when he falls so that type of vision that type of uh, fluidity for him to just be able to take that step right here and then continue to work up field working through contact is what made it so impressive for a guy his size his contact balance was out of control in this game here we're going to be in still more of a spread look andrews is in tight but they still are in a two by one uh with andrews up there and this looks like uh i'm gonna look to you guys i'm curious what you guys think the concept is here so you're gonna get inside zone footwork from the line but mccary basically pulls as a lead blocker so i'm thinking this is some sort of based on the alignment because you have wide alignment here. This guy's obviously going to be left. I think he's just going to overlap as a puller, but it's still his own concept. And so you're going to see right here, the thing I want to focus on with Mitchell is how he gets small going through the gap. You'll hear that from running back coaches all the time. McCary is going to pull and look inside, make a block there. You're getting a nice little seal from John Simpson, overrunning it a little bit. But his ability to hit this gap, and you can see him get small like that. You see how he braces down and then just works through the gap. Uh, really impressive there and something we're going to see on this next play as well but just his ability to get small hit the gap accelerate really impressive work you're going to get a heavy formation here so you got Kolar in on the left side Ricard on the right side so now we're in heavy and they're going to run that counter concept that they like so I call it counter because you got the line pulling this way they're faking a handoff here even though you're not really getting the counter footwork from the running back so he's going to take the the handoff on the right side but it's designed to go to the left side to follow the two pullers which are zeitler and ricard and we're going to see something similar with him getting small in the gap so you see he makes uh john simpson's man miss there so john simpson's gonna be on the down block here onto the one tech 
and he gets beat, but Mitchell being slippery, rather than trying to run through him or keep going to the right, he's able to continue the concept, follow his blockers because of that quickness. Watch that. Watch his cut step with his right foot. Boom. Gone. Now you're going to see him get small. You got the seal block here, and we got to get small through this gap. And right there, just working through it, knifing. Again, contact balance. His ability to work off that missed tackle right there, and then still hit his gap move up field super impressive stuff back and heavy here same type of formation it's actually the same concept you're going to get see right there you got the two pullers hand off to the right but the concepts going to the left and the patience here like impressive stuff so the blocks didn't line up for him you get stanley washing his guy here and finishing him but it's right into the puller's path so it kind of messes up zeitler coming around which messes up Ricard coming along around. These plays always end up blown, right? And the running back running into them. Watch Mitchell stop, wait for his blocks to set up, hand on Ricard's back, cut back inside of him, right there, working around the down block from Kolar. Now he gets into here, and rather than try and work it back outside, which is where it's designed to, he sees what's going on. He sees he's got a man that can make a block there. He's got a seal here, so he's going to work himself back to the right, and he almost gets that seal block um, from the guy in the second level. So super impressive stuff there. Now this is the touchdown inside zone left. Very basic. John Simpson with a great block. Honestly, this one is just explosive speed. Like this, his ability to hit this, first of all, again, they're in spread. Look how empty the box is. It's a five-man box. So for people out there that say teams aren't going to respect the Ravens going in spread, show them this play. This is a Seahawks playing a spread they got one two three four five guys in the box two safeties you know over 10 yards back one guy's 15 yards back and they're just going to run inside zone left so everybody's going to take that step to the left he's aiming at the the outside butt cheek of the left guard simpson gets it done he's overtaking he's trying to work that inside lever or that outside leverage linderbaum's going to get into jordan brooks boom right there ronnie almost loses this but it's enough to get by. Mitchell gets small through the gap, and just that's explosive speed right there. Nothing special there. Um, well, sorry, nothing fancy there. Just explosive speed. His explosive speed is what's special. Uh, so just a beautiful play for his touchdown. Back and empty here, and there. This is going to be the 60 yarder. Tyler Linderbaum is going to do something on this play. I want you guys. We're going to run it through full twice. On the first time, watch Linderbaum. On the second time, we'll watch Mitchell. So you're going to see Linderbaum pulling with Patrick McCarry. He's going to get out there and smash Jordan Brooks. Work his way back up, and then he's going to come back and hit Jordan Brooks into 57 again. So he blocks three guys on this play. This is the 60-yarder. Uh, basic design on this play. You also get good blocks from Likely, and Bateman's doing work on the outside. So Likely motion down here, and then he's just going to hit that. He's the pin for the pin and pull. And then McCary and Linderbaum are the lead blockers, guys that you want to get out in space. See Likely there. He's going to continue to work that outside leverage. Really nice block. Look how he overtook that. Mitchell just follows his blocks. Um, you know, really impressive there. He's going to make the safety who, I, I mean, I don't know what he's doing because you got this D DB. That's actually Jamal Adams. Patrick McCary takes Jamal Adams to the bus right now. So Jamal Adams is trying to play contain. The safety came down, also played contain. Um, so Mitchell makes him miss. Contact balance right there. Keeps moving. Everybody, I think, thought this play was going to be over including, I think that's Quadre Diggs, uh, you know, he kind of gave up on it because he was thinking that tackle was going to be made, and nope, Mitchell's still up. Keeps working, Linderbaum comes back inside, Mitchell sees that cut, that gains him about an extra 10 yards just making that inside cut, so super impressive there. Let's go get a word from Justin Tucker before we cut this up. There's that big thanks to Royal Farms for sponsoring this episode. And so that's Keith Mitchell's day. I mean, you can't be more impressed. The contact balance, the ability to hit the 
hit the gaps. And I think the thing that I was the hardest on him about in the preseason, and I mean, he was super impressive, so I don't, I wasn't that hard on him, but I wanted to see him do work between the tackles. And I saw that, you know, that's what I think the biggest takeaway is from this uh, film breakdown is the way he ran between the tackles, the way he ran tough. He got small in the gaps. He hit the gaps hard, good acceleration, good burst, good vision, not afraid to, you know, get creative. And I think that's the most exciting. He's not just, you know, this isn't a slight on Gus, but Gus is the kind of guy where when he gets into the gap and there's a guy in front of him, he's inclined to run him over because he's big and powerful. That makes sense. Keaton Mitchell's a different type of runner and he gets very creative on the inside. So that's what you should be the most excited about. I think everyone should be fired up about this guy. A priority ad in your fantasy league, go out and get him. Keaton Mitchell has arrived. Hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new here. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Peace out.